So, good morning. Uh, welcome back to the channel. Um, so, today I am going to unbox um, Ubiquity. I've got a couple of new Ubiquity bits and pieces that have arrived. I'm going to do a quick unboxing of this. There will be a second part of this video, um, probably hopefully in the next day or two, that will show you me actually setting this up, I hope, and uh, we will see where we go. So the gear that I've got today so is Airfiber X PoE adapter, which I'm hoping is actually the right PoE adapter. It said this needs 24 volts, so I'm hoping. I picked the right one. So then it's 24 volts, one amp, gigabit ethernet. So I got two of these. One, I it wasn't until actually after I ordered this that I realized I only need one. But anyway, that's, you can never have enough of these things floating around the place. So the plan is that this is gonna be sitting in the shed to run one of these. And then I'm gonna have a second, I'm gonna have a second one of these. So I got two. Um, in the house, aiming for the shed to hopefully get better signal quality. So I did a video a couple of months back where I set up a Unify, um, so it's an ACHD, uh, let me see if I can find the, the name of this, so there's an ACHD in the shed and there is an AC uh, it's a 6 it's one of the 6 LRs uh, in and there's a 6 LR in the house and um, basically the AC HD in the shed uh, connects wirelessly so the shed is an AC HD and it is connecting wirelessly to a U6 LR. Okay, and that works 99 times out of 10. Um, I don't have any, I, I don't have too many issues, but every now and again there will be a drop. Um, it seems to be, um, I, I don't know what, what the drop is related to. And um, probably when Unify goes off and tries to figure out what other channels are available, something goes wonky. So I'm trying to set up a dedicated um, wireless link, which I'm going to pick a Wi-Fi. Um, so this is uh, 5 gigahertz. So I'm going to pick a band um, on a, a channel that nobody else is using or hopefully nobody else is using. And hopefully this will solve that problem so the drops will stop essentially in the shed I have Unify uh, of a flex a Unify flex um, which then has PoE it's it's powered it's actually powered by something similar to this and it's running a camera so there's a there's a camera in the shed and then there's a, so there's a let me see if I can find it. There's a G4 dome in the shed. And then there is a... What is that thing called? Um, One of the mini oaks. G3 instant. So there's a G3 instant hiding in the shed as well. And then it connects wirelessly. So it usually connects to the access point in the shed. Uh, then, so back all to the, to the house. Blah, blah, blah. This is the replacement. Anyway, enough of all of that waffling around you've seen these they're very simple it's literally a power brick with a couple of internet ports on it this is the thing i haven't seen yet speaking of which actually speaking of power bricks you know if i did actually throw in proper power bricks for uh three plug power or three pin power pins that we use here in ireland and they also use them in the UK. So, I need the UNMS app, which 
It's not called UNMS anymore. It seems that Unify has renamed this to UISP. So I am going to get the UNMS app or the Unify ISP app and set it up. Quick start guide. We can ignore that. This is quick start guide. What could possibly go wrong? So we have the actual doohickey itself. This is an AC loco, a nano station AC loco. Should have probably mentioned that earlier than this, but anyway. This is the nano nano station AC loco. This is that is locked into place to make sure it's harder to get to. I'm assuming. Oh no, bear with me. Uh, when I said what could possibly go wrong, well, I didn't stop myself yet. Anyway, ah, get out. Oh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to open that. Oh. Oh dear. Okay. Uh, hmm. That is not what you open. Where do you plug it in? Hmm. Huh. Okay. Oh no. Uh-oh. Aha! Right. <laughs> Oops. Right, so... There's two parts. There's a clip behind here. And that clip basically takes all of the guts out of it. So there's the big antenna. There's the board probably shouldn't have done that and then this this thing here is what comes off and there's our poe port and your reset switch so i don't know where's my alarm going on stop so okay so that's your power connector that's your main board probably shouldn't have opened that yeah. Oops. Maybe I should have read the manual. Okay, um, unrelated. We have a grip, uh, what you call a cable tie. So you can cable tie this to wherever you need to cable tie it to. And yeah, that's pretty much all that's in the box. So, other than opening that very much the wrong way I think everything else I'm hoping everything else will still work Um. okay so that has the unboxing and what not to do so this piece here actually clips off and that's what you need to take off don't stick a knife in the back part of it to take it off unless you want to see the the innards of this thing but anyway Okay, so, well, there you have it. How to accidentally dismantle an anno, a nano station AC loco. Um, there will be a second part of this video where I actually hook it up. So, um, subscribe to the channel and, uh, yeah, I will talk to you after. Have a good one. Good luck.